Blind Wiki, Rome, 2015. Francesco and a friend walking along Via Mandara with their white canes. What I am saying is that in this position, the footpath is very damaged, and it would be fair that it came repaired. Meanwhile, Marco uses the mobile phone. Voiceover, Via La Berra 73, start recording in this position. Marco walks with his cane along Via Roma Libera. There's a chain along the footpath that is very low and very dangerous. One may easily fall. Luciano is recording a post at Via Toscolana. Footpath with lots of stalls on the roadside in the direction towards the city center. Voiceover. Message successfully posted. Marco bumps into the bus stop pole on the tactile paving. Voiceover. Piazza di San Gostinato, Rome, Riazzo, Italy. Record at this location. At a certain point on the tactile paving, specifically made for the blind, there is a bus pole right in the middle. Voiceover. You have selected the tag tactile paving. You have selected the tag danger. Message successfully posted. Images of wrecked and interrupted tactile paving. Tram arriving at the Ministerio dell'Instruzione stop, missing tactile paving. Delila says, Legend says that students that go below the floral arc, they are not going to get your degree. So at La Sapienza University, there is no possibility to graduate because of the trails traced by the university itself. Emanuela says, Dopo aver percorso il vialetto di accesso da Piazzale Aldo Moro, Coming from Aldo Moro Square, we are in front of the Minerva statue. To reach the political science department, we need to turn left. But there is a problem. The footpath finishes. There is no pedestrian crosswalk to cross the street and the cars are going at high speed. Hello, this is Federico and this is my first post. After getting in from Via Regina Elena, once overcoming the annoying access poles, about five or six meters ahead, on the right is the bar, and on the left the university offices. Emanuela says, uh, on the Viale dell'Università entrance, there is a bollard, is there to discourage scooters getting in, but it becomes an obstacle for people with limited mobility. Once inside the campus, there are some public works. Along the provisional wall, we get to the courtyard previous to the political science department. At the end of the wall, there is a parking lot, so the difficulty of access is greater. Feedback from Luciano at Via Emilio Lepido. Missing footpath. Voiceover. Tag. Footpath. Ugo from Metro Station Giulio Agricola. Access to the Metro Station. Luciano says, 
apart from the stairs, because these are stairs, Ugo has recorded access to the metro station. That was the message. Then the tag is stairs. Is that right? This is a cul-de-sac. The only exit is by the stairs. Rosanna talks from Piazza del Risorgimento. Maybe at the beginning of the recording, we rather start by saying, on the way out at Via Atraviano on your left-hand side, there is a scaffolding in the corner because of some public works. Luciano says, complexity from the programming point of view. I would suggest a sequence of steps the user needs to follow. First step, I do this. Second step, but knowing which step is selected, so I always know where I am. Also, by double-clicking on the selection, the position and the directions get updated. That's right. It gets more precise in this way. Marco at an intersection blocked by cars. In consideration, images of vehicles badly parked. Luciano says. Then, of course, if there is a tree that pops up in the middle of your path, you have say so. Luciano leads the way with his cane among the cars that occupy the footpath. gets off the bus at Viale Trastevere. There's a flower pot on the footpath. Missing tactile paving. Hi Marco, how are you doing? Sorry I'm late. Musicians at Piazza Santa Maria and Trastevere. Credits. Blind Wiki. Unveiling the Unseen.